Fora TV. The world is thinking. So let's talk about the moon and where it came from. It didn't always exist. So how did we actually get it? And so these are just some of the questions I want to touch on just to give you a little flavor of what we know about the moon. Why we even have a moon in the first place? Um, the cratering history, how did it come to be how it is right now? Why does it look the way it does? Um, the moon has very low density compared to the Earth. Why is that? We have to be able to explain that away. Um, why does the moon have so little metal that ties into the density? And um, the moon was actually once closer to the Earth than it is now. Interesting. So it's, it's moving. Okay. So how did the moon actually form? So this is our best current estimate of how the moon and our solar system actually formed. And so the whole solar system started out with this. It's called the solar nebula theory. And so basically what you've got in here... You have this big cloud of gas and dust. So the cloud of gas and dust is out in the cosmos, and it begins to contract and spin in on top of itself. So it starts being pulled towards the center by gravity. Gravity always pulls things towards the center um, when you have this big mass. So things get pulled towards the center. The mass that gets pulled towards the center in the middle eventually coalesces and forms the protosun, which eventually becomes our sun. So you've got all these hot gases that are coming together, and you form a sun in the center. And then around this, you've got this, now you've got this disk. You've got this mass comes in together, flattens into a disk. Now you've got this swirling disk of rocks and dust and ice and all sorts of junk. And so basically, it's swirling around the sun. And as it's swirling around, there are particles and pieces of rock and dust and ice that are hitting each other. And as they hit each other, sometimes they hit and sometimes they stick. And when they stick, we call that accretion. So basically, all these pieces come and stick together, and then you build up planets. And that's how our solar system formed. That's our best estimate for how the solar system formed. So as the Earth is going through this process, so we've got all of this material in this disk going around the sun, coming up, hitting each other, coalescing together. Um, there's a lot of energy in those, in those impacts when they're hitting each other. And so there's a lot of heat that's generated. And so you start to melt things. So the rocks themselves start to melt. And so that's what's going on here. You've got melting going on. So now you've got like molten rock, like lavas, you know, like melted. When you've got melted rock, you can have the more dense material sink down to the middle. And this is what happened on our planet. So this is the process of differentiation, if you want the technical term. So basically, as the solar system's accreting and forming, You've got this melted planet. All of the more dense materials, so as you can see here, all the metals basically are sinking down to the middle. They're into the core. That's why we have a metallic core, because it all condensed and then sunk down early on. The lighter stuff floats to the top. That's why the rocks on the surface of our planet are relatively light compared to metals, silicates and granites and that sort of thing. And so this is just the general uh, process that happens on basically all the planets that are forming. So the important thing, though, is that all those metals many of them are getting stuck down in the core, right? Well, how does this play into the moon? So when the Earth was forming, when the Earth was very young, baby little Earth, uh, there was no moon. And remember I told you in this solar nebula, you have material that's swirling around, hitting each other. Well, what happened to our Earth very early on is it got hit. It got whacked pretty hard. And it got hit by a rock that was on the order of the size of Mars. So it almost destroyed our planet. This is a huge impact. What it did when it hits is it ripped off the top part of our planet that was already undergoing this differentiation process. So it's ripping off that top layer of rocks. And so that material that was ripped off then gravitationally is bound around the Earth. So it forms its own little disk of material, of space junk that's going around in rocks and gas. And so that coalesces together through the same process of accretion, and that's how our moon formed. So our moon actually formed out of a giant impact of a Mars-sized body that hit the early Earth and then coalesced and formed the moon. So it's a very fortuitous event, and we're talking about randomness and chance um, in the universe, and arguably this is one of those events. <laughs>